Let's take a look at an amazing farm spot in Sekiro Shadows Die Twice that you can already reach relatively early in the game before fighting Genjiro and will help you get a ton of XP and money in less than 2 minutes per run. Plus you get some nice sugar items that will of course enhance your attack or defense. And I also want to highlight two extra and the final skill lines that you don't want to miss in Sekiro that you can also get relatively early. So let's get into it. If you enjoyed that then a like would be super appreciated and let's go. This farm spot is the first idol at the Zenpao temple region that you reach from the Ashina castle idol. I will tell you how in a second but first let's take a good look at how this farm spot works. So there are a ton of monks in this area that will award you with 87 XP each and that will bring you to a total of 1131 XP in less than 2 minutes if you really follow this tactic and also 455 Sen. You want to stealth kill the first 3 monks, so go from the bush on the side and then backstab them. So the third monk you encounter that has a staff can also be killed with a stealth kill, but you have to be smart here by walking around the small sort of structure and not going from the side. Like the side is possible to backstab him, but it will not always work, so you can better really get behind him, so you get a guaranteed backstab just to be safe. And now it's time to use the divine abduction tool that makes this farm spot so nice. I I already told you how to get this tool in my previous all tools video. It's at the Gunfort Idol in the Zunken Valley region that you can reach even before Genjiro. I will link to that all tools video at the end of this one so you can easily find the divine abduction. I talk about it around the 7 minute mark there. But I would totally recommend that you also check that video for other tips for all the tools in the game. Including the fact that with a perfectly timed activation of this divine abduction tool. You will make the monk enemies disappear but you still get the XP and their loot. So that's why this tool is amazing for this farm spot because there are a lot of monks in the area. And they are also pretty close to each other. So you first have to activate the tool and then run up to these monks on the stairs to immediately take them out. Make sure you stand in the middle of them so the tool hits all three enemies. Otherwise you will still sometimes need to take out one monk with regular attacks. Overall you want to make sure that you at least take out the monks that have a weapon. Because those are way harder to take out in general. But of course the goal is to immediately take out all three enemies with just one tool activation. And the more you do this farm spot the easier it will get. So after the monks on the stairs you want to go down. There will be three monks there as well. Immediately Immediately take them out as well and then run back up again. Now you want to take out the two monks that are just walking slowly on the right side. Activate the divine abduction and then run to these monks to take both out. And by the way good to know is that the divine abduction disappears a short time after you activate it. So do it when you are close to the targets. Otherwise you'll have to activate it again and that will of course cost 3 more emblems. For the final 2 monks in this area you want to use the stealth kills. So go up there and kill the guy with the staff first. And then move on to the other target that for some reason did not notice that you took out his friend. Now I think it's smart to use the homeward idol item. And then select the option to go to the last idol you went to to immediately restart this. It will require a loading screen but I still think that this is smarter and more relaxed. Relaxed and likely faster than going back to the idol yourself. You also don't have to rest at the idol because that automatically happens when you go there using the homeward item. And then just rise and repeat. Sometimes these stealth attacks will not trigger or the enemies will be alerted if you are not too careful. And then you want to just kill them with your blades or use the divine abduction as well to take them out while in combat. It again will cost 3 emblems to use so for a perfect run that would be 9 emblems in total. But you do of course get some new emblems from the enemies that you killed as well so that will reduce the overall send you have to spend for this run especially if the emblems already cost 20 coins each in your game but at the end of the day you will still get a ton of money from repeating this farm spot even if you would rebuy all the emblems that you lost as well and like i already said in the intro you will also get a ton of sugar items from this run especially the echoes sugar Sometimes even 3 times for one kill. And you can use that one to enhance your attack for a short period. But you can of course also sell this item if you don't want it for 20 cent each. 
So that would also set off the money that you would spend on emblems to do this run. But yeah, you will mostly do this farm spot for the XP to get new skill points to unlock new skills. So I want to touch on two more skill lines that you totally want to get, including a look at two of the final skills in the earlier skill lines. But first, a quick tip on how to get to the first Zenpao Temple Idol so you can easily do this farm spot. You want to start at the first Ashina Castle Idol and then go from the bridge to the other side by using your grappling hook and then going past these guys then grapple up instead of going down and that of course will take you to the Ashina Reservoir but no we want to go up there will be a big guy with a bell there that you can just ignore and then just run straight to get the abandoned dungeon idol get that idol if you don't have it yet and then you want to go straight through the dungeon ignore all the enemies here again and at one point you will hit the water. Just swim, ignore the enemies and then at the end there will be some other enemies that you maybe want to take out because these gunner guys are always annoying. And then after that you can use the elevator to get to this temple and then you will find the idol where you can start farming if you got the divine abduction tool. Again a link to how to get that tool at the end of this video. Let's now take a look at two more skill lines that you totally want to get. It's near the Senpao Temple Main Hall Idol that you can already reach before defeating Genjiro. From this idol you want to go through the main hall left from the huge statue. Just make your way past these scary sitting enemies and then you want to get outside. And when you get outside you immediately want to go inside again to reach a cave. Okay, kill this monk with just a few slices first. And then you will encounter a lot of these crawling enemies. You can of course easily kill them by jumping onto them to take them out with a death blow. And after that you want to jump down and turn around to crouch through this smaller area. While crouching you will find a balloon of spirit items so you know you're going the right way. And then you will reach some nice crawling enemies that you can again easily take out. And then grapple up to reach this outdoor area that has the skill line locked in a temple. So open it and then the skill line is yours. The first skill in this temple arts skill line is called Praying Strikes. That's actually pretty good and lets you do fast palm strikes to prevent counter attacks as well. And actually is great to build up the posture of the enemy too. So totally nice to unlock this one for two skill points. The final skill line that you can find in Sekiro can be earned after you defeated Genshiro. And it's actually pretty straightforward on how to get it. You namely need to get one final skill in any skill line. This will also get you a trophy or a achievement and then you can visit Ishin at the Great Serpent Shrine in the Ashina Castle region that is close to the old grave idol and this Great Serpent Shrine idol will lead you to the Sunken Valley. I already showed you how to get there in a previous video about all the tools as well because you will need to go to the Sunken Valley to get that divine abduction too. So Ishin is only here after you killed Genjiro and likely talked to him after the fight as I showed you in my third resurrect video. Because that third resurrect circle will open up after you talk to him. Oh by the way good to note is that apart from defeating Genjiro you also need to have the third skill tree already. So complete the quest where you had to kill the rats near the Ashina castle gate. I already touched on this quest a while back in a previous video so you need to do that and you start it at the Ashina castle gate idol in the big building where you also talk to this guy but you likely already did that right you will then later show up at this idol and then if you talk to him after getting one of the final skills in any skill line he will give you this mushin a skill tree and one of the final skills that you unlock is shadow rush and this is from the first skill line that you unlock the shinobi arts it lets you charge up an attack and then rush to the enemy to deal some posture damage the longer you by the way charge the further you go and after that you will jump onto the target so you can perform some more attacks. This does cast the two spirit emblems though, the jump, so not the charge. But yeah, it does kill a lot of the early enemies instantly with a pretty cool acrobatic move. The sad part is though that you can only use it with the spirit emblems. I was not able to like only charge to the enemy and not jump onto the target. Only when you have no spirit emblems or only one left, then you can still use this skill but you will not do the extra jump. 
So yes, not as strong as I would have hoped. I mostly like skills because they require no emblems, so I can use the emblems for the many tools. The final skill that you can unlock in the Ashina Arts skill line also costs the two emblems to use, but you can also use it without it. If you have no emblems left, then you will still do the same skill, only the damage is significantly different. To use this one, you want to press both buttons that you would normally use to activate a skill, and then use the attack button to do the rapid slashes. You can always press the parry button by the way to get out of this stance. So yes, this one is also pretty powerful to one shot some enemies by charging to them. But again, the emblem cost kind of sucks because I just want to use that for tools. But yeah, I still thought it was nice to highlight both final skills. So maybe you know, okay, it's smarter to unlock the prosthetic tools final skill instead. Or go for other skills and maybe wait with getting the final skill tree. But of course, if you got some tips and tricks on how to use the final skills I mentioned in this video, I'm totally all ear. So let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe for way more Sekiro Shadows Die Twice videos. I got way more tips and tricks up on the channel and coming your way, including more secret locations that you really don't want to miss. Like this video to support the channel. Check out my previous video on all the tools in the game, where to find them and how to best use them, including the Divine Abduction, of course. For now, I'll speak to you next time and goodbye.